without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is um, we're going to have to uh, get clone this tutorial. So um, I'll have this uh, linked in the description, but go ahead and do a git clone for my um, GitHub. So we'll do a git clone, and then now we should get this VS Code remote network, and then we should be able to see this query file here. And just as a side note, um, we have this demo contract that you can see here installed already. Um, and we did this in the previous video tutorial, and that will be linked in the description. So cool, um, we have this uh, tutorial here. And the first thing we have to do now is that we have to go ahead and go to the IBM blockchain platform and we have to go ahead and get some certificates for our network. Um, so we'll go into IBM blockchain. Um, we're going to go ahead and reset this network. Okay. So at this point, um, we reset our network and we have to go ahead and download this connection profile. So we'll go ahead and download that and we'll check into finder. And we should get one that uh, should be coming in here in any second now. Okay, cool. So we got this connection profile in. Let's go ahead back and we're going to have to import it. So in our tutorial and in our um, VS Code local network, we want to put this uh, right there. So we'll go ahead and grab it and we're going to go and delete this one. This is the old one. And now we're going to rename this to be creds.json uh, just because this is how I named it in the query.js file. And cool, so we saved it, we imported this from our um, IBM blockchain platform, and now we can go ahead and go into our certificate authority, and now we can, so now we, once we go into our certificate authority, we can generate some certificates, and this is going to be used um, to, be ac to actually um, interact with the cloud service, so we're going to go ahead and copy that, and we're going to go ahead and paste that in here, uh, whoops. There you go. You can see it's a new certificate. Uh, the, the one previously had a different ending. If we look at our private key, it ends with uh, DV. You'll see that this is different here. It ends with 2Z. Um, so you can see it is different. If you try to copy any micro certificates, it's not going to work because I just reset my network. Um, but anyways, um, cool. So we've uh, now done that. Now we have to go ahead and... Um, uh, go into our uh, go ahead and actually sync our certificates. So we'll go into members and then into certificates and add this certificate. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and grab the uh, the public one, and we're going to import it into here. And we'll click submit, and then restart the peers. Cool. So we see that all running peers were started successfully. And if we go into channels, um, we can go ahead and see that we have three blocks. Cool. Um, at this point, we're ready to connect to our blockchain platform. So we can go back here and we can, I'm going to create a new one. So we can call this um, you, YouTube demo. Um, and then in this YouTube demo, it asked me for a file path to the connection profile. This is what we just downloaded. Um, so if we go into our demo contract, that's not the right one. So I was just in work directory and I was just in tutorials. Uh, where's the, oh, here's tutorials and then VS code local network and then IBP certs. And then this creds.json is the connection profile. Now we want the certificate, which is just called cert. And then now we want to enter in the, the path to the private key, which is just called private priv. Okay. So we can try that. Um, so everything looks good. Now we can install the smart contract and we already have our demo contract package. So if you don't know how to do that, you can watch the previous video and I'll have that linked in the description. So we install this. Um, so now that we've installed it, we can go back into our IBM blockchain platform and uh, we've installed the code now and now we have to instantiate. And the reason why I'm not instantiating through this uh, VS Code extension is that we actually have to set our consensus policy and we can do that right through the IBM blockchain platform UI. So we'll go hit instantiate. We can go ahead and go to the default channel and then click node because we're using Node.js. And then we'll click the simple policy for now and then just click submit and just wait a couple seconds. Cool, um, so at this point our contract is instantiated. We can go ahead and check that in the channels. And we should see another block being added and that is, um, huh, there it is. Um, so that's the instantiated block. Um, we can go ahead and look into the details, it probably won't. Okay, yeah, so we called instantiate here. 
Cool. Um, so you saw that. So I'm going to reload my extension really quick. So now if we go into YouTube demo and check default channel, you could see that this demo contract is instantiated and it has all the functions that we have created. So if we go back and look at our actual smart contract, um, we can go ahead and do that. And that's in the uh, demo contract directory and under lib my contract. These are the four functions that we wrote. We wrote instantiate, we wrote init, we wrote add member and we wrote query. Um, so let's go ahead and test it out. So we're gonna go ahead and call add member and we're gonna submit a transaction. And um, I'm gonna, I have all of this stuff already ready to go. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this. Uh, I'm just gonna use this email because we see uh, emails, uh, um, email name, address, and phone are the parameters. So we got name, uh, address, and phone number. So let's go ahead and submit that. Cool, we've submitted that, and then let's go ahead and do one more, um, and we're gonna go ahead and use Arvind now from, uh, I believe he's the uh, SVP for IBM Research, so we'll add him into the blockchain. And at this point, um, we can go ahead and check our um, network. So let's go ahead and see if those, uh, add mem or those members are added into our um, blockchain. And just uh, just for reference, um, the smart car smart contract that I wrote really doesn't do anything meaningful. It doesn't transfer any um, uh, assets to anyone, but this is just to show you kind of how to get started. In in some later videos that I'll post in the next com coming weeks, I'm going to write a more complex and a more thorough smart contract. But this is just to show you how to get started. Um, so this should be Ginny. So you can see here we wrote Ginny at IBM.com onto the ledger. Um, and then, so this is the key, Ginny at IBM.com, and the value is all of these. So name, Ginny or Medi, address, Wall Street, um, number, email, you get the point.